we came back to the camper and we're wondering like what the heck is all over our windows look and then we notice it's poop I have the best honey we're cleaning our camper before we even unpack from home so we can get all the bird poop off. I just, I don't want to be working around it. <sighs> when you don't have a compressor, this is the next best thing. Air tank and air gun. Brat nailer. I never did finish nailing my slats. gonna hang a toilet uh, roll dispenser after I polyurethane the whole inside oh, of this yeah. tomorrow too. okay so I've been working on this again this morning and I keep getting interrupted by this big huge fat bee and then I just saw that he climbed in this hole so that's not good. Okay, I had to go get my hero and show him what's happening. Okay, there's a hole, right? So oh, this God. knot, I just watched a bee come out of this knot. Okay. I don't know if we want to just hit all of them. Yeah, might as well. Okay, so we have plugged up a lot of holes. And if you haven't seen our first video, this is our 4x8 outhouse shower glam room it will be set up like a spa but anyway watch bees going in and out of holes and look how many i don't know if you guys can tell how much silicone we've had to put in these walls oh here he comes he's looking do you see him he's trying to get back in okay so we put up netting all around the outhouse but i just realized between that two by four or two by six whatever that is and that plastic at the top that's how the bee is getting in ah! oh, look at he's looking to get back in his house i made him mad okay well until the bee figures out that we took his house away and it's safe for me to go back in there again we're gonna go down and watch and see what Dwayne's doing and um he's supposed to be clearing out some area for the outhouse to go down here by the cabin. So let's go check on him. I probably shouldn't walk with the camera. But it looks like he's done a lot since the last time I showed you a couple days ago. Okay, uh, I can't work in there because there's yellow jackets that keep coming in underneath the plastic um, roofing. There's a little gap all the way around. And I wanna finish this so I don't know if this is gonna work, but Dwayne's working and I'm trying to brainstorm to be independent and get it done. So I'm gonna see if this tarp, if I can throw the tarp over the top to cover the gaps just so I can get work finished in there. Pray I don't get stung. We put down some uh, citronella smokers, coil. coil smokers. Little incense. So we're gonna let that smoke them. We're gonna smoke them out. Cook them out while we're gone. We're gonna go get water. So okay, it's been a few hours since we left and went and got water and siliconed, and so now I know the silicone is not the clear drying kind. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of little white things in here I suspect unless it turns clear later however our little smokers down here have done a good job at getting the bees out of here 
And so I'm going to get back to work up here getting the rest of this polyurethane. Okay, the outhouse is completely polyurethaned. Door, floor, and all the walls. And it is hot. That will be the shower. This is back where the composting toilet goes. These are the cabinets. Now I'm polyurethaning them. These cabinets came out of the cabin, so they're recycled. But I think they'll look good in there. Okay, I have to show you guys some stuff that's going to go in that outhouse that I think is pretty cool. So, found this old car or truck mirror in the bushes down there. So I'm going to clean this up. And I'm going to get a stick and mount it to the wall that has a branch coming out. And I'm going to shove it through this hole so that you can be in the shower and you can check out your teeth. Make sure that you're clean. So that's going to be that. And then we went to the mall, and uh, which is really a repurposing area of... A, a, what's the, what's another term for the dump? So anyway, there's a spot at the dump where people take good things that they just don't want. Instead of having a garage sale, they put it in this other area and it's affectionately called the mall. So we went to the mall because we were looking for two by fours because lumber is ridiculous. And all the construction, there's a ton of good wood that people are just throwing in the trash. So, anyway, I am not below the dumpster diving in a clean mall. Okay, so I found this off on a rabbit trail. This was like electrical something. It had wires and all this stuff. So I stripped it, and I'm going to put a candle in it, and I'm going to mount it to the wall of the outhouse. So you can take a shower by candlelight. I think it's pretty cool. Doing such a good job. Oh, thank you. What's all this junk? Do you need all this stuff? That's uh, boots and bras. I think that's going to be the next name of our B&B. Uh, &B. Boots, boots, boots and bras. And bras. Yeah, I find all kinds of weird stuff. Okay, he is trying to clear out some humps so we can start dragging the outhouse. We're about ready to go. So how it's supposed to work is 
the hot water tank. Here, honey, you explain it. Okay. This right here is your supply side water. This is your outgo for the shower head. And this is your gas going in. Here's our gas regulated tank. And you always watch the flow. You got arrows on your water pump. This is the, uh, the vacuum side, which is first in line. And you got to have a strainer to catch any debris that's coming out of your water tank. And uh, it just travels right on through. Uh, what I did is I just alligator clipped some, uh, some wires, extended them, made some jumper wires with some little clips. Shrink. Your shrink tubing works really good with a cigarette lighter. And it seals them up, makes them watertight. That's what I use. But, uh, yeah. And then you just go like this. Oh, Whoa, the there's a hole I just fell in. There it is, running. I think I hear it inside. Oh. That's probably on. Uh, nope. But we can turn it on. Let's see if it works. There's water in here. There's a leak. Oh, probably because it doesn't have a gasket, I bet. Oh, you didn't put a gasket in there? No. Oh, we got a shower! Oh, man. Oh, we didn't. We don't have a battery. We don't have hot water. I don't care. All right, it's all polyurethane. I hung up a cabinet drawer or door drawer that was in the kitchen. So I'm probably going to put some contact paper on the back and I'll decorate the inside of that. And so, and then we got this little guy at the mall that was left there. How perfect is it in here? And then our composting toilet. Here is our cabinet. This came out of the cabin and here is our shower. And I have a shower caddy right here. That I will hang up right there. And this is bigger than a lot of people's showers at home. Oh yes, I got this at the mall. So remember I told you I stripped the wires out of it? So I'll put a candle in there so we can have candlelight showers. How lovely. That was a entire weekend's worth of work thanks to my thanks to my honey yeah, well, thanks to my honey oh you're very sweet yeah we got a lot done all right just one of us it was both of us uh -oh. okay well until next weekend that's right let me fix my hat and get cooled up so uh comment on and tell us what your off-grid adventure is Bye. Bye-bye.